today I'm going to tell you all about the new features of DaVinci Resolve 19. Some of them I'm just going to fly through, but some of them I want to dive deep and tell you why this is my personal favorite features because I'm going to be using those all the time. And some actually was supposed to be there because all the other NLEs like Final Cut and Premiere Pro has those features, but now in DaVinci Resolve it's more powerful and it's as complicated as you want it to be. Let's dive in on my computer. I'm gonna show you all those features, tell you all about it, why I love them, why I don't love them. So buckle up and let's dive into this. Some of the project files that I have from my previous video that I posted about how to shoot real estate video. And as you can see on the side right here, the organization has changed. So you have for your favorites, which is all your sound effects, special effects that you have, transitions, as you can see, like the favorites all grouped together so you can just have those little group drop downs. And it's so much easier and faster to work that way. It's easier on the eye to just find it really fast. So that feature is DaVinci Resolve favorite folder organization. With Trim Edit Tool, which was, by the way, in Final Cut for like a long time, when I was editing with Final Cut, that feature was already there. But now all you can do is just double click, same way as the Final Cut, you double click on between those two clips and it opens up this fine tune two lines. So you have two clips, one on the bottom, one on the top. You can fine tune with those brackets, everything and make it to exactly the frame with clip video, but also you can do that with clip audio, which is absolutely a game changer if you are trying to fine tune all those little things. Now the next feature is text-based editing. So what it is, is you simply analyzing the clip and it will transcribe the audio of a specific clip or timeline. And with new update, you can actually on the fly, just click on the clip and just simply transcribe the audio from that clip. Now with transcription opened up, you can edit from that particular window. And as far as like, if you're trying to find a specific word that you said, for example, if you had said camera, and it will highlight all the camera words in that transcribed audio. And if you want to delete all those camera words, you can do so. On the top, there is this button and you can actually just simply click and just, it will automatically take out all the dead spaces, all the cutouts. Now it's not perfect, so you would have to fine tune everything, but it's still, it cuts out so much long work of going through all the footage. Now with just a click, it's obviously depending on your computer, it will just transcribe everything and then you can just edit based upon the text that you see on the screen. Plus, if you are doing the project where you need the actual subtitles, that will give you an idea of what the subtitles are gonna be looking like. If there's any kind of misspelling that you need to correct, then you can correct it right here in this text edit page. Now, another update is the text plus title, which you can just simply find it over here and drag it onto this. Let's put, just put it on this face. And then when you go to Fusion Overlay, you can simply drag everything, you can make any changes, you can just write right on the screen. I know the other NLEs have the same thing, but you can just simply go ahead and use it now in DaVinci Resolve. So I'm, I'm really thankful for them adding this feature. And you can actually deattach and just control every single word in that text plus and you can make keyframes and you can just do so many things as you can see, move all those things around. So that's a great addition. Okay, next feature is gonna be interesting because I made a video just recently on Dehancer, a plugin that you simply apply to the footage to make it look vintage, shot on film. This is a great new addition and I don't know if they actually saw how Dehancer is getting popular and they decided just to add that, but they added this film look creator. It gives you that feel of having the halation, the bloom effect, the grain, all those things. They are very, very close to one another, but still the answer has so much more to offer. You can just simply add that to your node. It gives you that special feel, the nostalgic. So you can use custom option and just simply change everything. But what's really cool is that you don't have to use color space transform. It already has that color space overrides in it. For example, I'm shooting S-Log3 here. 
you just simply don't have to use the color space transform. You can do all those things here with the color space overrides. So you can add like split tone, vignette, halation, bloom. Let's just give a little bit of adjustments, color adjustments that you can simply do the contrast, highlights, fade all in one spot, which is convenient. So you don't have to like bounce around. If you are going for that kind of style, yes, it is good, but not always is gonna be effective. So it's another tool to make it your own, put a little bit of your own twist to the videos that you make. Ultra noise reduction. With this image, I'll just leave it with all this grain. It's obviously fake grain. That might mess it up, might not, who knows. But if you have grainy footage from just like shooting in dark environments, you can simply apply noise reduction. But now DaVinci Resolve introduced a new noise reduction addition, a lot of noise on this image. You go to the tab of noise reduction and here on the special noise reduction, you can select ultra noise reduction and click analyze. And what it does, it automatically selects a little piece of the frame where you will find that noise reduction, that optimal spot, and it will apply noise reduction. And you, as you can see how it did, I think it did well. It has like some spots that is kind of like freaking out just simply because I guess it's working on film look creator. And I don't know if that's the case, but look, it's already did a great job of taking out I guess some part of the noise. It does retain the quality of the image and take out as much possible of that noise. You can always change it to Luma and Chroma yourself if you want to. It is really fast, really simple, and uh, yeah, it's great. I like it. Face refinement tool. I know there is a beautify or whatever it was that you can just simply add like beauty filters on the faces of the people. Now DaVinci Resolve has a really unique way of adding and tracking the faces of the people inside of the frame. So you, you look for the face refinement tool, drag it onto your node, and when you click detect face in frame, it will select which frame because uh, the green square is the one that I have here. The other ones will be red if there's multiple people. I just simply select that person, then I click track, and it will analyze creating a specific points of that guy's features. And if you don't like some of it, it didn't track that well, maybe somebody doesn't have eyebrows, who knows? You can simply adjust everything, just move those points, re-track again, it will do just fine. You can show the overlay, you can shut it off if you would like to, but let's just leave it kind of where it's in focus and let's do some adjustments. So scan isolation, you can click on show mask to see what exactly gonna be affected. It's kind of like a depth map. Let's just shut it off. And you can see if I will add, add this amount, the beauty automatic, you can actually make it rough to get all the flaws. If let's say if you're going for him being like all in desert going so long, all height dehydrated and all of a sudden is looking rough like this or you can actually just add a beauty filter and make him look like um, i don't know tom cruise or so you can create a scale of it skin grading the contrast you can see if there and, and this is a perfect image for to show the skin grading of the actual contrast you have one of his left side of his face is all lit up by the sun the other one is in shadow in a dark so you can adjust that if you want and another cool thing, you can just simply adjust color, make him look like a Donald Trump or so. And uh, yeah, let's bring him down, make him look like a more of a vampire from Twilight. Uh, you can obviously play with tint. You can do all those things. I mean, it's just, again, world is an oyster, yours. You can make him look a little bit gothic. If part of his face is not lit up well, you can just simply bring down and adjust the levels so it will look well lit from both sides. So if you don't want to go for that dramatic shadow on the other side of face, all I have to do is just lift the right face, adjust the gamma, the gain, and voila, you can have a realistically well lit face. And as you can see, I'm going to shut it off and turn it on. And of course, you can adjust the area of what exactly going to be lit. Like if you want to be including the edges or not, or just the just the internal side of that face. Now we're gonna go to the fun part, uh, eye shadows. You can make him like a drag queen. Let's change the hue. 
saturation you can just decrease the saturation make it more realistic gamma softness you can adjust the softness of go and a roll off so we're going with some lips you can see what it looks like adjust the area here i'm going to zoom in when you're in the eyes you can just increase the sharpness of the eye which is really cool you can obviously brighten the eye you can make it look really that it's a little bit fake but still the eye light creating a little bit of powder the eye bag remover is not bad at all it actually works and then you can see how it looks the lips obviously you can do the same thing adjust readjust you can adjust so many different things and let's play it you can really see I mean it, it looks realistic it looks amazing so and that was the face refinement tool so magic mask is so much faster now as you can see it does a really good job of isolating that guy and that looks pretty good so all you do is just drag and this is by the way in real time how it tracks this is raw I do believe it's 6k clip it goes one side the other side and that's it that's how it goes. Now I did a good job. The reason why I did that because the next feature of DaVinci Resolve is defocus background. And it's just a drag and drop. You obviously select the invert and it did really well even with the hairline and you can create the blur, you can adjust it, you can adjust the saturation if you want to make it all like you know moody and unique. Advancement options you can just create an occasion blur versus like regular and it, it, it's believable it looks amazing and you can adjust it on the fly so that's a good feature in Charlie track AI tracker with this clip right here of these skateboarders just going nuts and what we'll do is we're gonna just simply track one of them you can do it in fusion page obviously but we're gonna go to color page and then we're gonna go to tracker and in tracker we're just gonna simply select on the bottom right here in teletrack I'm gonna select the area that you're trying to track with this arrow we're gonna put it uh, on the back of his shirt I'm gonna select FX plus and this is how fast it tracks and obviously it lost it lost him a little bit just simply because his back that I put that little plus sign got out of the point of view so you obviously have to make sure it's always clear where it, it's supposed to track and here you go it tracks amazingly and then you can attach any text any special effects whatever you want to do on top of that you can use that in teletrack and it is so much faster what it used to be just a simple point tracker the color slice tool it is one of the coolest things that they have added into the color page because you can simply pinpoint all the colors you have obviously red you have skin tones you have yellow green cayenne or cheyenne or whatever you want to say it blue magenta and within those sectors you can see that line you can adjust that line back and forth and you can see what you exactly select by actually showing the overlay and you can add the saturation or on the left side you can see there's a bar you can add density you can change the hue of specific colors so let's just make a couple of changes but every time you click on that top contrast signed you can see what exactly you are going to be affecting with those changes of the density saturation or hue and you can see how good of a picture now is after we made a couple of changes to the grass to the skin tones let's just change some colors of her top let's select blue now with that simply select more of that top I'm going to shut it off so you can see what it looks like and then all of a sudden I can just create changes to that top and it's going to look yellowish or orange let's leave it purple now with green so essentially you can make the green grass dense and green or you can just change it to autumn like pretend that she was actually doing yoga in a colder year it's again it's all up to you red let's change your yoga mat to a different color let's actually select when it's best visible the yoga mat do not include anything else and you can see the reflection from yoga mat on her shirt okay so we're going to shut off this overlay and uh, just simply add more color to it saturation i'm sorry you can just simply change the 
color them add to more of a like yellowish or orange let's do orange and here you go before and after create your own look with just few clicks and that is awesome auto audio ducker that is the tool that will save you so much time if you are shooting and editing these kind of videos where you have a talking headshot and you want to add music underneath that track have it on the background but then increase when the person stopped talking or maybe some kind of segment of b-roll is showing up on the screen so previously what i used to do is adding keyframes to the audio track and lower it down where the part where you start talking and then if you are making any changes throughout your main timeline then you have to move all those keyframe points of the audio track to make sure it's all matches when the music drops down when somebody starts speaking it was a headache it, it's literally took out probably 20 minutes of my time it's a longer conversation video and we need music on the background now it's done automatically with ai a click of a button and i'm going to show you this you have to select the track that you have music on click on the actual track so let's actually name this voice so you can see the track and when you click on that you would see the music plays pretty loud and i'm speaking right there right so you see how the playhead is going to when i'm talking and all of a sudden it just drops down Usually magic now with docker is on every time that i stop talking the music will go up but keep in mind when you are doing this make sure all your dialogue audio on the main timeline all the dead silent parts are all cut out if it's a dialogue when you applying that docker it does magic and you also can press this fine tune button right here there's about five knobs the source that is actually going to be tracking is voice which that's what i renamed and the duck level how intense it will be ducking the look ahead that's something you adjust in milliseconds how far forward it looks for a sound of the person talking if you have a video where audio of the person he's or she is talking and then done doing some kind of clicking some kind of weird noises it'll pick it up and the ducker will think that that is a voice unfortunately it's not as intelligent yet just keep that in mind when you're actually doing it the rise time is how soon it will start rising back up hold is how long it stays ducked when the person stopped talking so that might help if you have some dead spaces of sound in your dialogue and then recovery is how soon or how smoothly it goes up and starts playing the music at normal levels but i always advise you to play around with it tune it up the way you like it to be listen a couple times like one click one toggle switch and it's all done for you for the whole timeline in seconds so thank you DaVinci. So we're gonna get back to this clip of our skateboarders just going crazy on this insane slope with an insane speed. And I wanted to show you this, I guess it is kind of like IntelliTrack, but it's a fair light tracking, audio tracking that creates this super cool feel of surround sound if you are working with it and it's done simply by placing the tracker on the let's say if it's a car going passing by from left of the screen to the right side of the screen and you want the sound to go with it so it would be let's say if you have the headphones on you have a left channel and right channel let's say a plane flying by and it flies from left to right, you will hear it from left ear is going smoothly into your right ear. So that's really, really cool. For this one to work, you just simply go to Fairlight. Obviously, I have to select the track. You have to put in in and out points of that particular tracking clip. And as you can see, you have this little tracker over here, target of left, right, up, down, front, back, which if you're working with something that is gonna be intense with surround sound. So with this one, you can actually look at the show control of the tracker. And then when you pre press tracking, it just simply tracks. And when you play it, as you can see, it's not as good, but you simply can just adjust it again, click on it. And you can hear, I just added like a sound of a race car. If you put your headset on and listen to this track, you will hear it go from left to right. Also, 
Make sure that audio is in mono first. Then you track, and then after you're done, you take it to stereo, and it actually gives you that amazing feel of going left to right, up and down, forward, back. A lot of people don't care about those little things, but by going extra, you will impress a lot of people, especially if they catch it. They're like, wow, I did not know that you're doing the sound design as well. That's a great feature that speeds up everything if you want to add a little special to that particular clip. So next, one of the hardest part as being a videographer is to find a particular music for your clips. And when you like the music, but you don't want to have vocals some softwares especially the stock audio footage if you are downloading the file you can download in the bits and pieces like for example the epidemic sound they do a lot of different things that you can just get the file and it breaks down the drums the guitar the bass the vocals all separate files you can collapse them all together if you want you can just put them separately it's all up to you how you want to do it with this no matter what kind of song you toss in, you're in control of adjusting everything the way you like it. You want to take off the vocals, you can simply do it by the click. So let's look at this track over here, pretty cool track. And when you play it, you simply go to the same settings, you go into this kind of like side view of that particular audio track. And you can hear the vocalist. Now I muted him. You cannot hear anything. Now I can mute the drums. I can mute the bass. And you can hear the change. Muting the drums again. I'm not sure what the other is, but. Uh, and mute the guitar and just sleep. You obviously can hear the mumble, but still you can hear the voice and going back to normal. And then you can adjust every single one of them the way you want it. You can increase the voice, increase the vocals, you can decrease anything else. So you can play around with it and tune it to perfection. So your background music that you're gonna be just the way you want it. It's super cool, super awesome, I love it music remixer. So the last but not least, dialogue separator. As you can see here, I have added weird noise, like a background noise to what I'm talking. And I was just gonna create a compound clip so it's all mashed with my talking shot. So you can see the actual, you can hear that noise on the background, but with selecting that option of dialogue separator, you can do things like mute the background, mute the ambience. And I'm not quite sure what the ambience is. I know the background is actually, you know, taking out all that background noise. You can mute the voice, which is another really interesting thing. So you can select and adjust the way everything you want it to be. Really weird request that somebody said like, hey, if I want to remove the background noise, what about vice versa? What if somebody's like, making noise in the background and I don't want to hear the actual uh, talking part and I just can drop the voice. You can totally do that with Dialog Separator. Another super cool feature, just know about those features because if you need to make changes, it's within a click and it's done. So you are absolutely in control of what it's supposed to sound like from Dialog Separator, Music Remixer to amazing features of IntelliTrack and Magic Masks. DaVinci Resolve is absolutely fantastic. The 19, I guess it's beta version. DaVinci Resolve is doing a fantastic job on one-time payment software, NLE, that is absolutely killing it. Everybody's switching, obviously, to that NLE. The updates and additions that they make for free, you pay it once and it's done. You're not buying anything extra or you're not doing all these subscriptions like, for example, some of the other NLEs do. It's the most fair, amazing NLE right now that it's out there for creatives, for professionals even. It can be as easy as possible or it can be as complex as possible. It's all up to you how you want to use this tool. Otherwise, I absolutely love this amazing updates and new features that DaVinci Resolve 19 beta version uh, has to offer for us. If you have questions or concerns or suggestions or something that maybe I missed as far as the new features been added to it, please 
leave the comments below. I want to read them and answer some of them. Uh, maybe have like a little fight, comments fight. Other than that, I really appreciate you stick around to the end. If you like the video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe and all that good stuff. Otherwise, stay awesome, my friend, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.